Hey guys, thank you to everybody who got up this morning and tried to join us live. I'm sorry about the internet malfunction. I have plans next time we attempt this to get to somewhere safe with fast internet so we can all talk together. But this is the next best thing. I've created a slideshow with some links to some videos that you can watch. They're not long. We're going to look at three different artists and at all of your artwork from your found art objects last week. Um, if you did meet with us this morning, if you typed hi into the chat, then you'll receive five bonus points for this assignment, but you do still need to complete the assignment in Canvas. Um, when you submit your assignment in Canvas, you have the choice of recording yourself like I'm doing, answering the questions, and you can upload that in Canvas, or you can simply type your answers to the questions in the text entry box. Either way, um, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this art. Um, throughout the slideshow, there will be some questions just to kind of help you think about what you saw and the artists that you're looking at. Nothing that you have to answer. The questions that you will actually need to answer for the assignment will be in the Canvas assignment. Those are just to guide your thinking. We're going to look at three different artists today. Um, Tony Plant is a landscape artist in the sense that his art occurs in the natural landscape and then he does go back into his studio and create paintings of a lot of the designs that he makes but I'd like for you to check out what he's doing and see what you think about what's the point of his art and then the next artist you're going to look at is Andy Goldsworthy he's really connected to Tony Plant um, he's a an inspiration to Tony Plant he's also someone that I shared with you last week as you were creating your found art um, he too works with temporary materials in the natural world. So let's think about, as you're looking at his stuff, um, what's the point of his art? And then the last artist you're gonna hear from and see about today, just briefly, is a guy named Phil Hansen, and I'll tell you a little bit more about him at the end. So enjoy these videos, um, take some time to think about what you think, and thank you for joining me for this second edition of Art Talks.